Hey guys, welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So today we're going to do some $1 and 50 cent coin roll hunts. So we'll start off with a roll of 50s and see what we can find. Alright, make a nice pile and uh, let's get in a little bit closer. That should do it. All right, let's check out what dates we've got. 71 right there. So nothing special. There's a 21. I think uh, I've come across a fair few of these, so it's not uh, one that I'm going to be keeping. Nothing, no, nothing. I thought there was some sort of uh, lamination error going on there, but it wasn't the case. All fairly old and common, ugh, common coins. Make sure you wash your hands after doing anything like this. 96, another one of the 82s, and to finish off with an 05. Little cut on that one, bottom of the, uh, right down the very bottom of the cape there. Can't see any other cuts, but for me, that's not a keeper. Let's put that aside, we'll open up a dollar roll. So $20 in a dollar roll. Ten dollars worth of coins in a fifty cent roll, so both have the same amount of coins. All right, let's see if we can stack them up. No cards on that one. I haven't done any $1 rolls for a fair while. No, no. Thought there was a big cud there, but it wasn't the case. All these coins are fairly well circulating, quite grubby. Nothing new coming through. Make sure you look out for the missing leg on the 2015 coin. This one here, can we see? This one's got a leg. Uh, yeah, you can just slightly see the leg on that third kangaroo. Underneath the third leg is, is missing, or the fourth leg is missing. Nothing to be found in that roll. Okay, this has got a 2022 on the top. I doubt it's going to be a full roll of 22s. Looks like it's showing some signs of circulation. All right, let's see what it is. This end, this end does look fairly new, but not not bright enough. Not bright enough that I think it's a full roll. Certainly not. No, just a just a twenty-two on the top. All right, we'll make our way through this roll. So I'm going to keep that one for now. Being a twenty-two, I'm not sure how many of those I have found. Always rotate your coins. I've said it a million times. 
but you will one day come across something that you may have missed if you didn't rotate. Now, I did do a, a video a few nights ago, which was the $2.20 roll. And I did have some 20 cent coins left over. I did also go and do some 5 cent coins, which I don't really like to do on camera. I think it's quite difficult uh, to do 5 cent coins and make a video about them. So. show you what the results were of that as well. Uh, here was that, 99. And oh, well, it was a 22 on the end as well. So yeah, interesting. All right, well, we got two of those. So a couple of the coins I did find in the 20 cent rolls. So I stopped the video before I found this one. Actually, the very next roll I opened up was the centenary of uh, Federation Victorian state coin, 20 cent coin. That wasn't a bad one. Uh, low mintage in the, in the two to three million range. A nice 1966, unfortunately not a wavy, but it wasn't in bad condition. So I did keep that. I've got two more just to show you, but we'll open up a dollar roll keep going through so just to keep you guys up to date Australia Post will be releasing a the dinosaur coins on the 5th now, I have mentioned this before but uh, there are five different PNCs and one of them has the envelope envelope privy. And I'm also told that there is going to be, well, I haven't seen it myself, but an Einstein related PNC coming out as well, which I believe also will have a envelope privy on it. Now I know that the Royal Australian Mint just recently released a coin relating to Einstein. And I've got a feeling it's going to be that one. I, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Uh, just looking it up now. I think, yeah, the, the Walal Centenary Australian, Australia tests Einstein's theory. I reckon it, it's going to be that coin in a PNC with the envelope is what I'm hearing. So if you're uh, into the envelopes, as I am, make sure you make your way over and uh, yeah, sign up for um, Australia Post Collectibles because there is a ballot that they do each year that they have these special coins that you can basically put your name down for okay we've got a 2019 jc so i'm still keeping those until we find out exactly what the mintage is so for me right now it's it's still a keeper so that one there will be a keeper all right let's put that one aside Flip it up. There's another 2019 JC. Starting to show a bit of wear. Certainly I feel that the mintage is going to be going up. I certainly find a lot more of the JC than the IRB. 2019 50 cent coins so 
both considered to be low, low mintage and I find plenty of the 21s very very few of the 20s seems to be a lot of coins from 2020 that are low mintage so No one, but no Federation uh, states on that one. And 20, 20 so I did find a couple more of the 2022 uh 20 cent coins as well oh it's a 21 no i wouldn't have kept that one i thought it was a 22 so that one can go and uh so i'm keeping the 2022s and i also found within the five cent coins another changeover unfortunately not the alien era coin that's what i'm looking for and that's really the main reason why i get five cent coins is purely to try and snag myself one of those alien have a look I've done a video on it uh, I don't own one but I'd love to own one so hopefully one day I can find one all right we've found a few 50 cent coins for the video we need to find some dollar coins so I think we'll open up and see what we can find uh, quite surprised I haven't found any of the Great Australian Coin Hunt in any of these, so yeah, maybe people are keeping a lot of those. Always rotate these ones. That's that's one I've shown many times on the channel. Well, whatever you're doing right now, I hope you're enjoying yourself and uh, relaxed and happy just to sit back and go through some coins with me. It can certainly be a, a tough hunt, I'll tell you what. I'd like the Royal Australian Mint to make some more era coins for us. To go hunting for or some special varieties i'd love the uh, mint to do some sort of surprise release that nobody knows about and uh we all have to go hunting for it i'd, I'd love that sort of competition that'd be fun to s drop some coins around australia and see where they turn up 2014 which is the most common of the 100 years of anzac coins JC what's the mintage on that I'm just looking that up right this very second uh, what, is that? what is it no it's the IRB is that a higher mintage the it's just the regular one so oh yeah it's fairly high 8.7 million so that one there is not a keeper the JC is at 2.3 million so certainly lower than the IRB, but probably certainly not low enough to warrant keeping. So in the next few days, I will have a video coming out on exactly how to get your coins graded. So I think I mentioned it in the previous video, but it's all done now. And 
it's ready to go up so this video will be going up before it because you're watching this one now and then within a day or two you will see that video and so I've taken some coins out of my collection and have been able to get some graded which is my first time of getting any coins graded myself so I hope you jump on board and learn a little bit about the process and how to go about it and I'd love to see you guys doing the same thing share your results with us well, we're not finding anything in the dollar section we might jump back on and do some 50 cent coins you really do have to go through a lot of coins and if I wasn't doing it for the video I'd be even faster than this and I know I have to slow down a little bit because the camera doesn't necessarily like to focus as quick as our eyes can so all right back on door 50 I really want a federation coin from 2001 out of this roll so an increased 50 cent coin would be absolutely lovely been a while since I found one. I know with the 2000 Incused, it probably took me years to find my first one. And then after that, I think I found like two or three really quickly. And possibly even two in the one roll. So they certainly can be found, but it has been a little while since I found one. But right now we haven't even seen a Millennium 50 cent coin. Oh, there, there is one right on cue. And is it in cue? Oh, it is. Wow, that's perfect timing. Um, oh, that, I, yeah, that's definitely in cue. Uh, I wish I had another one just to show you. But yeah, anyway, that's what's the chance? Oh, I love that. All right, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Now, uh, what have I got? I got a pen. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, I'm wrapped. This this couldn't have worked out better. All right. So, in the middle here of the Union Jack, and going through, it's how do I describe it? It is. It's called incused, which means it's it's in depth as such. It is not flat across the top. Okay. There is a a little trench you will say is probably the best way to describe it so that's exactly what we're looking for all right so i mean this isn't perfect condition or anything and but it's probably worth you know even in this condition 25 30 dollars they are hard to find so i'm wrapped i'm absolutely wrapped to find this right now and uh that's what makes hunting worthwhile all right well we're going to keep going i know that was um Oh, that was perfect timing. I'll tell you what. All right, what else we got? 1997. 07. Wow, I, I, just, I just can't believe it. As soon as I started talking about it, bang. And I actually didn't think it was going to be in Cused. Anyway, it was. So they're still out there, guys. You can find them. Don't give up. To be honest, I was actually thinking about not putting this video up because fairly poor results, but you guys are definitely seeing this video now. Alright, let's uh I'm gonna do another 50 cent roll. Since we've had some success and we're not having any success with the dollar rolls, I will go through them. What do we got here on top? A 94. We'll see that one guy, that guy in a moment. All right, let's start up here. We've got an 83 common year, 
Don't see too many of these. 88. Now there is a little, not on this one, but there is a 0.8. And there's a little dot in between the 8 and the other 8, but not on that coin. 07, quite nice and shiny. Ah, oh, I'm hyped now. That was great to find that Millennium in perfect timing. I couldn't have scripted it better. What else do I want? Oh, I want a rotated uh, 2010. That'd be nice. I'll just say that right now. Let's see where that turns up. So I've never actually found a rotated 2010. The only one I have is one I bought. So I did find a very nice rotated 2006 though. And 294s to finish off that one. All right, this video is going long, but I'm gonna do one more 50 cent roll and that'll close off this video. All right, let's see what we got. 2012, don't even wanna touch it. the wide date I think we had a couple of narrow dates just before a few more coins and we'll finish this video off We didn't find any of the Federation coins, but it doesn't matter when you find this one here. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video. Certainly pumped about that one. Uh, a couple of keepers to hold on to for the time being. See where we go with Mintage, but that'll always be a keeper every single day of the week. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.